The industry most ripe to be disrupted? Grocery. As we've said before, 20% e-commerce penetration has been the tipping point for sectors including books, sporting goods, toys, and consumer electronics. Bottom line, once a fifth of shoppers are online, it's real for the sector. The U.S. grocery market has been a slow mover, but is catching up fast. More than 20% of U.S. consumers have already purchased groceries online. However, estimates suggest that within five to seven years, that number will reach 70%, propelling online grocery to $100 billion. Grocery stores desperately need to get out of the 80s once you fill that first basket up online, you tend to only manicure around the edges. Amazon's share of online groceries stands at 18%. We predicted Amazon would begin to overlay their operational expertise and 0% ROI hurdle, and consumers would see prices drop, and that is exactly what has happened. Although in-store prices at Whole Foods are 14% higher than Kroger, Whole Foods is making an aggressive play for home-delivered goods through Prime Now, which comes in 2 to 7% less expensive than Kroger goods delivered through Instacart. That's right, Whole Foods for less than Kroger. That's a Mercedes for less than the price of a Toyota Camry. As grocers were sitting on their hands with regard to home delivery, Instacart filled the void and is the first result in paid and organic searches. Relative search volume for Instacart is two and a half times that of Amazon Fresh, and more than half of brands with stores in our Grocery Digital IQ Index partner with Instacart. These partnerships have been the growth engine for Instacart, now valued at $4.2 billion. However, grocers using Instacart are not playing for the long game and are outsourcing a key core competence with respect to building shareholder value. What do Borders, Toys R Us, Circuit City, and Target all have in common? They outsource their e-commerce to Amazon. Instacart allows customers to easily switch between grocers, diminishing grocery store brand loyalty, except for those grocers who have partnered with Instacart to build dedicated sites. Who else loses as Amazon muscles its way into the grocery landscape? Simple, food delivery kit services. Blue Apron is a broken IPO. What is Blue Apron worth? Is it worth zero? That's a little harsh. It's worth less than zero. This business model makes no sense. I don't grocery shop very often, so my team, no joke, decided to play a game with me. Scott, come on now! Sushi or donkey droppings? I'm going to guess $4.99. Full gras. I would guess all natural, re -vegan, real vegan full gras, eight ounces. I don't know. I have hash that looks like this, so I'm gonna guess it's expensive. I'm gonna put this at $27.99. Everyone nourish shampoo. Yeah, funny. Hilarious, guys. Active once a day, men's 50 plus. Hey, I may be 53, but naked I look 52 and se 52 and 7 eighths. I'm gonna guess. $7.99. Health Aid Kombucha. Wait, there's a, what's going on here? Do you, do you know something I don't? Am I dying? Is the answer finally here? Flow, 100% naturally alkaline spring water, flow water. I see this and I get the sense it would probably be good for my prostate and improve my stream. So I'm gonna say again, any price whatsoever. Uh, when I pee now, it's like a baby bottle dribbling. My seven-year-old is like a fucking fire hose. I mean, he could seriously break down a wall. We'll see you next week.